Hello everybody, welcome again. Today we will see how to manipulate outputs using the PTVV sim. Uh, if you remember that last time we did uh, how to make a simulation and how to collect the data using the evaluation. Here in the evaluation there is a result. So in the result, uh, last time we did like for the data collection result, the delay result, queue result and the vacant travel time. So here we have these results. So today we will see how to make a simulation uh, results or the output results. Actually, PTB has two options. As you see that in the uh, configuration of under the evaluation, we have two uh, options. For example, here if you want to the direct output, you can only select these uh, some of the results, or, or I mean that you can make like a direct output. But for today, we will see how to. Uh, make output results actually once the model runs have been completed each of the evaluated parameter results can be displayed in tabular form uh, this model outputs can be displayed individually for each run individually for each run and a statistical summary of multiple runs can be computed automatically using the summation button here so we can see the individual and the summation over here Attributes result uh, or the tables here can be configured here using this so you can change for example for this case we have uh, Q lengths, Q lengths maximum, Q stops so you can uh, change these attributes by using this part okay again automated savings of results during the simulation can be done here automatically you can it can save and it can makes uh, an average result and the standard division the minimum and the maximum of the results so based on this we can make the graph so to make a chart you have to select the average value because the average value is most of the time it is used it's the average of the total simulation runs so here after selecting the average run right click then after that create a chart so in the creating a chart here we have the chart so if you want to change this or to configure these charts you have to go on to this range and click over here you can change from column to line or also you can arrange here like the own uh, network objective type if for me for today for this one it's a q counter so you can change from the column to line like this also you can like uh, use the attributes like this and also on, on the on this side on the left side uh, you can change everything okay so then after that here you can make uh, export or you can export this file by exporting okay you can save you can give don't forget to give name for each thing so for me like the one so it's the future one so you can do like that also another one is before uh, saving uh, sorry I forgot you can uh, change the x-axis name the y-axis name by clicking over here also you can change the data series also you can uh, increase the size uh, name the color of this legend by using the legend tab here this is how we can uh, edit the graphs using the result then after that after doing this you will have to save this result uh, or we have to uh, export this result to excel so to export this result to excel you have to save it like this save to the file don't forget to give the name the ptv file will be saved as like this okay so save it so after saving the file open the excel okay after opening the excel go to open the file for me, I'm going to open the file from uh, this. Let me find the file. So this is the file that I'm going to open, but it says you have to change here, make it all file. So in the all files, you have to click the file with .att. It will be over here. This is for me the queue. So expand like this 
or you can use any one here okay or if you want to uh, check you can you have to type okay this is the curry key counter result over here so i'm going to open this one open it so immediately it will be like this click next change from tab to semicolon then and select tab then next then after that finish it it will be pop up like this the same result will be uh, happen uh, or manipulated in the exit so you can see the average over value here so by doing this you can easily uh, see the result of the outputs of the ptv of your uh, specific uh, files or specific designs so then after that you have to save this file to save this file click on the file it's save us okay here in the save us you have to change this to excel workbook so then after that don't forget to give the name okay so i'm going to save on the same folder automatically it saves like this so now it's saved this is how we can save the ptv vsim after getting the result and uh, how to manipulate on the excel thank you very much see you next time